what's up guys and welcome to the channel friends on here and this video is gonna be about the reapers build so i'm gonna talk about seven things mainly the stats of the reaper talents and deep talents cause the ex and finally allies and sets uh, i think that's six <laughs> yeah seven things or mites yeah finally that's seven yeah <laughs> okay um let's start with the stats so for the stats of a reaper a reaper is a magical class so definitely the first thing you're gonna have to focus on is your attack so before i go further i would i usually categorize these stats into two sections the core stats and the optional stats so for the core stats we have the magic attack intellect multi-strike attack power and critical level or CDR and finally earth attack that's this so these are the six six yeah six core attack values for a reaper for me that's what I believe because if you look at your gear yeah there are six one two three four five six so these are the six core values for a reaper the other optional ones can be the CDR the HP physical or magical defense dexterity and insight so first you focus on the main the core values which i've stated which are on the screen and secondly and later you could focus on the optional ones now you could see on these stats that the reaper says the system itself says that a main start for the reaper is cdr but this can be worked around but one thing you should know about the Reaper CDR is that no matter how high your CDR is, you cannot, it does not affect the cooldown of your Reaper skill. So no matter how high the CDR is, this skill of, let's say, 20 seconds cooldown, I guess, will always be 20 seconds cooldown. If you, it doesn't matter if you have a 100 plus CDR or if you have 20,000 CDR, it's always going to be that exact cooldown it doesn't affect the cooldown what cdr for reaper class does affect is the hard points as this blue thing filling up those blue up so we'll talk about that later let's move on to the talents for the talents of the reaper i only have I, I only have I know what you can see three tabs here cat keys the tide and yakuza demon chain but these were experimental sections I created for me I only use this particular one cat keys both for PvP and for PvE I don't really care much for any other um, section that's just the truth for me for the reaper I believe the S level talent should be cat tango which increases your skill um, increases all your skills damage by 15% removes cooldown for all your skills and gives you super armor for five seconds so for five seconds you are invulnerable to all control ability you can spam as much as you want your destruction blast and deal as much damage as you want and at the end of that you can start your order stuff so for the a level talent shadow recall this takes you back to the status you were four seconds prior by status here they mean your health status they don't mean your super ammo status or whatever status you were four seconds earlier they just mean your health status an example is if you use wrath you lose a little health and four seconds ago you gain back your health that's just it so it's quite helpful for pvp especially even pve it could be helpful because there are sometimes boss monsters perform an insane amount of damage but it might not be at once it can be together so it can be changed so with phantom raving and especially with this shadow recall a level talent you're gonna go back to your previous state for cat keys it helps you with teleporting dodging skills increases your damage for five seconds so it's quite cool Cat enhancement, a lot of people focus more on what's the name? Destroying chain because they believe that with each destruction blast you perform, the damage is gonna go up to a total of 60%. Add that with cat tango, that's 75% damage increase for five seconds. But I believe this is better. This gives you a stable 45% damage increase. And every time you perform an attack, be it a normal attack or a skilled attack, you have 50% chance to gain two cat essence cat essence is this stack over here you see those two i've counted and i got one this time i got two this time just like that so each attack you can either get one or get two this leads to your big 
second biggest damage as a reaper which is doom blast so with doom blast you can deal as high as a million damage for which is for someone as weak as me with 188,000 attack so you can deal an, a very big damage just like that or stun you can also stun your opponent but if you go for destruction destroying chain which I've actually done the max I checked it out in um, training arena this deals like 75% consistent damage for five seconds but with this one I think it's 45% so that's 30% um, difference in damage but that is made up with you being able to perform doom blast twice while this one will probably only help you do, do perform doom blast once so doom blast let's say minimum of 1 million damage and let's say you deal 750,000 damage normally so 750,000 damage straight up for this so this with this one you do 1 million but you are unable to perform doom blast you're only able to perform doom blast once right so you perform this as much as you can you can see with all my spamming i'm only able to go a little above half and yeah finally one and i'm out of it i have to start all over again but if i were to use cat's essence um, let's wait for the five seconds so it's gonna be you know equal all right let's go You see, and just one at normal attack, and I can start all over again. So it's almost like the time it will take you using destroying chains to perform this, you're actually gonna take less, a lot, a lot less time than that to perform it. The same thing while using cat essence. So while using cat essence, you're actually gonna be doing a lot more damage in the long run than when you use destroying chain and this for me is the best talent for a reaper i have tried many other ones i think at one point i removed cat walk and blade masters really stunned the heck out of me at another time i removed shadow recall and i died quicker than i ought to and when i removed cat tango i just ran out of um hard points i couldn't teleport i couldn't escape from damage i couldn't even and perform the other skill to take away damage that I have been received that I have received. So cat tango is staying. <laughs> Everything here is staying. To me, this is perfect for PvE and PvP. You might want to change this for things like bombs, but I still use this same thing for bombs. I found this to be the best. Let's go into the deep talent. For the deep talent, you focus on the left side mainly. So in the right side, you increase torture, max it if you can, and go into max. This is important for both um, those above level 100 and those below level 100. Why I say this is because of the Raven's cost. All cost effects increase by 150%. What I mean by this is your Raven's cost skill, which is um, your default attack when you're in normal mode. So for each attack, you have a 20% chance to place a cost on your opponents, reducing the damage they deal by 3%, increasing the damage they take by 1%, or reduce their critical rate by 5%. So some, for those people fighting repairs and wondering why they don't critical, this default skill might be it. But there's actually a lot of people that don't use this skill for repairs, they focus just mainly on the red skill, you know, the spamming of this and everything. But they're actually missing out on a lot of damage they could be dealing, they could be debuffing their opponents and actually you know saving themselves from taking a lot of damage so that that is quite an important deep talent then next you definitely have to max mix mist i think when i was below level 100 i couldn't max this or all these things because i just had to focus on um torture i got mac then i focused on this blue side max everything except smooth move it's kind of useless the the movement speed increase is not really helpful i tried it out and that at max it is 30 percent increase in movement speed but it still didn't show, it didn't show anything like it, i didn't even notice any difference it was just the same walking style i guess so for those below level 100 try and unlock hunt because at that level the blade master's void cooldown will not be you know as short as those above level 100 because a lot of people here now have insane amount of cdr 
So with this, you'll be able to stun the Blade Masters. Maybe if you time it properly, <laughs> you'll be able to stun the other classes as well. But not just stunning them, but dealing an increased damage to them by 9% if you max it. Those higher than level 100, you should increase these same things here. Get this to reduce the damage you receive. Don't touch this. I only did try increasing this to get to um, waking, but I figured I didn't have enough talent points since I haven't played for two months. I just started the game at the middle of this year. So if you can increase, get to this, sure, but for now, I think you should focus on increasing this torture, mist, mark. Don't touch any of these things. I, they are not really useful right now. Increase your hunt your nightmare garden to guide you a little against getting feared yourself and the most important talent to me <laughs> illusionist so i'll get back to that then the next part you should do in the blue for all levels both those above and below level 100 is try and max everything in blue every single thing in blue except smooth move i think it's a waste but if you have more than enough then definitely go for it so why I said the Illusionist talent is the best for me in the green is because of this skill. Illusionist. Enter stealth when you swap places with your phantom. What the mean is quite easy. I've done it in a lot of my videos. So when you're dealing someone as a Reaper, it's not just dealing damage that's the most important. The most important thing is to make your, your opponent not even know which one is real. Make them double guess everything. Put them in kind of like an illusion so that's my play style the illusion is what you're gonna do is switch create a clone move away from your clone so now your clone exists but whenever you tell switch places with him you become invisible for six seconds so you could actually run away you could actually go to a better location or fight you could do a lot of things with this play style with that talent illusion is but you have to use it properly and don't review yourself immediately after you switch places with your um, with your clone because if you do review yourself you're gonna have super ammo on you that is when you swap to blue that five seconds of super ammo from cat tango is gonna be there on you and your opponent will immediately know that he's fighting a clone so once he does that it's over for you because almost anybody that's quick on the take will just definitely switch targets to you so in a high stakes battle it's gonna be quite easy for you to do this as long as you practice it properly, you just do switch, no, switch with your clone, and you keep fighting. Reaper's call for those below level 100, you use 9 fire, 5 water, and 2 earth. For those above level 100, 9 fire, 5 water, and 2 wind. So the difference is just the wind and earth. For level those below level 100, earth. For the extra defense those above level 100 wind for the extra multi strike and maybe a little health <laughs> all right then next is the ex for the ex i use netherlight for pvp for pve i also use netherlight but i think king servant is best for pve but i'm not really one to switch exs <laughs> like i mainly just use one for almost everything that's for my reaper form the king servants boost your allies not you but your allies for the normal ex for those below level 100 i'd suggest you use um scotch especially if you have the Whisper whispers of the ancient god drag use scotch and majesty scotch has a low cooldown it can help you dizzy opponents defenses and help you deal more damage for um Majesty, Majesty explains itself. I mean, see 2 million damage without even being in battle and deals increased damage the longer your opponents are there. There's a lot of ways you can get around Majesty because when you perform Majesty, it actually lifts you up and it keeps you vulnerable for I think 3 seconds while you're casting this skill Majesty. So you're quite open to damage and then it gives you a shield which lasts for a couple more seconds, I believe. So there's a way to get around that you could actually use more than one method the first method is to cast majesty change your skills and teleport away so now you've got the shield and you can keep attacking that's one way for the second way you first make a clone teleport cast the majesty skill switch with your clone 
just like that so <laughs> that's that's one other way to use ex so you've cancelled out the delay or the vulnerability the majesty CS gives you now this is for those below level 100 because at that point the majesty skill deals i think about a million plus damage which was the highest damage amongst the other ex being unlocked then those above level 100 you use holy judgment because it's as long as you time the right person this skill doesn't miss this ex doesn't miss and minefield i have not unlocked minefield but from what i've read and seen this is yeah it's the go-to one judgment deals a lot of damage and i believe it deals the highest amongst every ex i am not sure but it deals a lot of damage the only issue with judgment is the opponent has to be stationary if it's a quick reflex opponent you're fighting they could just run away from the ex section or if you don't time it well like you've seen in some of my videos my arena videos a lot of my opponents either deals this to my clone or they just miss because i teleport away so <laughs> this is not really advice it might be good against opponents like um soul dancers or so but for level 100 i mainly suggest holy judgment and minefield those two for any situation i guess next we move on to um Smite, yeah, seven scenes and might. For the Reaper, um, I would suggest Wrath. Wrath is pretty good. I mean, it's just one of them. It takes a little from your health, but it deals in all of that a lot of damage to surrounding enemies. The more enemies they are, the more the damage is shared amongst them. So if it's a single target, they lose a lot of health. Then you also take damage to your health. But for a Reaper class, that's really nothing because you can just recall it. You first perform it. The health you lose, you undo the damage you take and switch and start spamming your attack. You could use um, Pride. This will reduce your opponent's defense, deals damage to them, and maybe even remove, if you've leveled it high enough, it can remove the effects of other things like gluttony, like filth, and other stuff. Then you, I, I could suggest Envy for those who are on the weaker spectrum, like, you know, like me. For those who are not strong enough, they could use this to steal attack from their opponents and reduce their opponent's attack. And you could also use Filth to bleed your opponents to death. I, this is kind of my personal favorite right now. <laughs> you can see the level of my Filth is the same as Envy. It's because I've not decided which one I'd want to focus more on, but I'm thinking more on Field. On fields right now so the final scene I'll suggest for Reapers will be gluttony many people don't use this but it deals damage it applies poison and if you've leveled it leveled it up high enough it's actually gonna reduce the opponent's damage dealt by 10% so it's quite gonna be useful the only issue I have with gluttony is you can see I've been leveling it up but I stopped midway because I realize the cooldown time is quite long. It's 180, uh, 60 seconds more than things like um, Fuse. So that's one minute more. I actually prefer using Fuse than using the Gluttony for now. But definitely I'll get back to it because Fuse, the only downside is you have to make sure your opponents move when you perform it. If your opponent stays stationary, the bleeding effect won't really take much from them. But the more they move, the more damage they take with Fuse. But for ra for gluttony it's it doesn't matter they just keep being poisoned they've been poisoned so they keep losing health next and i think that's the last thing we'll talk about is going to be allies yes for allies i'll say the reapers should focus on for levels level 100 and below if you have chime funny enough <laughs> chime because at that level, the player's attack are not that high, so this shield is quite helpful then. And I don't know about others, but for me, the shield procs quite a lot, so it has saved me a lot. I mean, and I mean a lot, a lot of a lot of deals. So this shield and the reduction in opponents' damage, it's quite helpful. So for below level 100, you could use Chime, but if you don't have Chime, you could actually use Mingzulu. You can't go wrong training Mingzulu. Shime, Mingzulu, or Eri, College Eri, or the normal Eri. I don't have the other Eris, so I'm not sure about them. So for me, those level 100 and below, Shime, Eri, or Mingzulu. For those above level 100, 
Chime shield is almost useless <laughs> but it's still useful as a support especially with the damage reduction so for those above level 100 your main should be either airy or ming or luminous yeah i know this one is quite surprising but this luminous <laughs> yeah is it, it can be a game changer because you see the normal luminous is it's quite sucks it's um ultimate sucks and it's passive sucks it only increases your health by 58 i mean that's ridiculous and it deals damage 226 thousand damage i think my normal attacks can deal that much already my number one so that's not much but it's extra skill once you take a fatal hit you become invulnerable for 15 seconds and recover 450,000 health so it has a slight chance of occurring but when it does occur it can be insane but i would suggest you use the normal luminous and suggest captain luminous because his ultimate is quite useful you can see i made a mistake of increasing the normal luminous but <laughs> yeah captain luminous is way better and it gives you health as well but the health might seem small now but the higher the level the more health you gain see now 120 123 so the higher the level the more health you gain and his ultimate is kind of like a crowd control and damage skill so it's quite helpful especially if you tag this together with something like um where is it tag it with something like jumong yeah revival of jumong so if you have revival of jumong four pieces don't use the six pieces i actually used the six pieces earlier when i was experimenting and it was terrible i my damage got reduced a lot and i i don't really value the shield that much. i think that six seconds already <laughs> is already all you need adding the extra shield is just overkill maybe for soul dancers it might be helpful but for reapers four is enough so if you have um, this is for those above level 100 of course if you have dragon rider spear or if you have what's the name wolf scheme for those below level 100 if you have soto's rage if you have logi scheme you could use any one of these to replace dragon rider spear so you could have six logi scheme skis six wolf um, what's the name wolf scheme you could use six sorter's rage and four revival of jumang four kraken's raw i haven't gotten all the kraken's raw i require so i only have three kraken's raw so i can't use it i'm still using jumang so you could just just have four of the life-saving ones so imagine you deal someone with revival of jumang and you deal the final blow to that individual and instead of person dying the six seconds immunity for revival of jumang procs so you have six seconds of taking no damage and let's say for that moment this happened in one of my duels in arena so let's say in that six second moment you perform raving so you take your health back to what it was immediately before you took that so you take your health back to what it was you gain a little more health from there you have a second chance in a way to keep fighting then let's say after that your opponent deals another laser strike to you and instead of you falling down you're so lucky and luminous activates so you become immune for i believe 15 seconds and you gain this couple of health back for yourself meanwhile your opponent is still there receiving all that damage so yeah <laughs> on th in theory because i haven't yet to, i have yet to try luminous myself but in, in theory this this would be a crazy survival survival strategy so I think that will be it for the video guys. I think I've covered every aspect, haven't I? Yeah, I've mentioned the stats. You use the usual magic attack, intellect, MS, attack power, critical level, or CDR and earth attack. For the optional ones, CDR, HP, physical or magic defense, dexterity or insights. You don't use constitution. Don't use constitution for this constitution or dexterity they don't have as much as their counterparts for constitution instead of putting that use physical or magic defense for dexterity instead of it use multi strike for insights use cdr although they do add a little health they do add a little health so if you have an orange constitution no, rather, don't, don't even use that. If you have a, an orange dexterity or uh, insight, then definitely slot it in.
if you have an orange hp slot it in if you have an orange physical defense slot it in as long as it's much better than the previous ones there but no matter what ensure you have at least one magic attack or intellect on each of your gear ensure you have multi strike water power just focus mainly on the core skills before the optional ones i think that's all for the video um, <laughs> I, hope, I hope you guys at least learned something from this video um, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel it's really helpful let me know down in the comment section below your suggestions any ideas any corrections any recommendations at all I'll, i check out my comment section and i respond to as many people as i can so definitely just drop it down there and i'll get right to it as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video guys